Hello, Isa. Uh, I think, I think there's an ad going currently. I'm not 100% sure, but I, th I think there's an ad going, so I'm going to wait a couple minutes. Uh, thank you, Coda, for 26 months of subscription. Holy shit. We've known each other so long. Issa says they just got out of Agile. Hi, Sikari. Glad to see you here. Oh, there's the ad break. It fucking lied to me. Ads are such a fascinating little thing. Does anyone remember, like, growing up, there was the thing where people would be like, oh, I watched the Super Bowl for the ads. Does anyone remember that? That was really fucked up. I always get ads weird, so IDK, they're always super early or super late. Okay, fair enough. I think supposedly people still do what? Who's still watching the Super Bowl for the ads? That's not normal. That's not normal human behavior. Watching the Super Bowl is also not normal human behavior as far as I'm concerned, to be clear. You should watch the Puppy Bowl. Anyway, um, I was going to say something and I don't remember. We would take a day in class to watch the Super Bowl ads on YouTube? What? What? That can't be right. What are you talking about? That, that can't be right. That's not normal. I hate humans. Unhinged rural school district behavior. They were very underfunded and so there was zero oversight. I guess that makes any sense. It doesn't like not make sense. Ad break just about over. Cool. All right, let's get started. I have a very quick poem before we go uh, because I'm back to having poems. Yay. Um, this is an untitled poem by Elucubrare on Tumblr. The light in my room is always on to keep away the demons of the night that have crept in already. They live with me like old friends, despair reclining on my windowsill, exhaustion curled cat-like at the foot of my bed. I did forget to set the message of the day to something from that, so we still have the Soleil message of the day from a while ago. All right, let's do this. It's raining. Of course it's raining. It's been a while. Um, Citadel came over and gave me a cake and set this up for me. It's... If 
you want to bring that monster back, you have to try a lot harder than that. Hello? Who left this? Hello? God, it was probably someone a while ago. It's not like it matters. I should have known I was fooling myself. I should have known. It doesn't matter. There was a chest plate in here. It's a curse of binding. And it would have been nice if I could. Dear Moth, I don't know how else to start but to say I'm sorry. I should have come to you sooner. I don't know why I didn't. I guess these past months I just kept letting my fear fester and grow. Good at that. But you showed me so much kindness on my first day in Haven. You invited me into your city and you gave me my first home. You even gave me my sheep, John and also John. Also John is doing well. What? What happened to John? We live in the Cloud District these days, and he eats lots of grass. I guess what I mean to say is, I don't want to keep being afraid of you. Actually, I'd love to be friends with you someday if you'd like. Well, I guess it's not really you I'm afraid of. Mostly I feel guilty. You invited me into your home, but because of me it was hurt. I don't know if you know what happened that night. Word can travel fast around here, and I know very well that there are things and people in Haven beyond my understanding. Still, if it can give you any peace of mind, I'd like to explain myself. I was attacked in your city, killed, by some kind of blue fairy with a mask. Whatever it was, it told me that what it did was to me was because I had befriended you. I was pretty shaken up after that night. In the months that followed, I was afraid of getting close to you or anyone else. I was afraid I would be hurt again. But lately, I've been trying to get stronger. I don't want to be afraid anymore. I don't want something like that to ever happen again. I understand if you can't forgive me for what happened. Admittedly, I don't know if you're even mad at me or if you even think about me or that night at all. Maybe you already knew about the fairy creature and maybe you already made peace with what happened. But I still think about that night a lot and I want to be able to put it all behind me. There's enough to worry about these days without these ghosts from months past. So I'm writing this letter. It would be a relief to be forgiven for what happened. But if the wound is too deep and you can't forgive, that's fine too. And again, I'm so sorry. Kelsey. What? Hello? H hello? Hey, it's me, Dr. Feel Good. I'm here to cure your awesome illness, dude. Mm, sorry, what? I'm here. Listen to me. I'm here. Listen, I need you need to understand something. I'm here to cure your awesome illness, like your radical disease. I'm gonna like all of your problems are gonna like, boom. Well, they're gonna go, boom. They're gonna go like, boom. 
Um, so I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna fix, like, what's wrong with you? It's gonna be different. It's gonna be fixed. Okay. You can... Yeah. You can do that? Yeah, I can do that. I can listen to it. I can fucking take the shit. I'm fucking amazing. I'm like, literally, it, it can't, I cannot stress it out. Uh, so, I've got this glass bottle for you. This is the first step. Okay. Alright. Try to drink out of that. I... I can't? There's nothing here? Yeah, in yeah, you can't. Because that bottle, it's like you. Like, you're that bottle, okay? You're trying to drink from something that doesn't have anything, like, inside of it. So, um... So, like, you're obviously not going to be able to drink out of, like, something that doesn't have anything inside of it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's your first problem, is that you're, like, made out of glass and you're empty, and you keep trying to drink out of the empty bottle, and what you need to do is start drinking from other bottles. So, like, try drinking from that. Oh, I already had one of those. Yeah, you need to drink more from other things. Like, you need to go to the fucking store. Hey! Okay, did that work? Are you better- are you better now? No. Hey, are you better now? No, I'm not better now. Okay, hold on. Okay. You need to drink from more bottles. Are you different? Just stop. This isn't helping. Okay, so if you're not okay. Okay. Here's the alright. Um Okay, I've got it. Okay, I've got a new idea. I got a new idea. Alright, follow me. Okay, so um uh yeah, this is, this is a good spot. Okay, no, I've got... Listen, this is gonna make you... This is gonna make you Dr. Feelgood, okay? I'm Dr. Feelgood. Okay, so this is you. And these are all your friends. Uh. And you, you're in a situation where... Well, you... Yeah, that's a pretty potent metaphor of what you're trying to do down there. Um, so you're all flopping around, and you're not... Okay, I need another one of you. Okay, so here's you again, and... Yeah, I think, okay. So there go all your friends. Um, they're dead now. Uh, and because of the environment that you created by, like, like again, you, you know, doing this, this sort of thing, um, like, all your friends, uh, here's all your friends. Here are all your friends. Because of this. Because, because you keep going down, because you keep, because, um... Yeah, because of that. Because of that. Like, you're a dolphin. You get it? No. Okay. Um... Okay, so this is you. Uh, and this is where you are. And, and this is where you think you are. Um, and this is where... Like, everybody needs you to be. But instead of being here, you're, like, there. So what you need to do... What you need... Hmm, what you need to do is... You gotta do this, okay? This is what you need to do. Is this starting to make sense? Okay, so, like, you see this? This is the sword that you used to kill your friend. Um, what? And, like, and cut his eye out. Yeah, like, this sword right here. Uh, you use to like brutalize one of your friends. Oh my god. Um, and because of that action, that's why you're suffering. Give that back to me. I need... Thanks. Um, so, like, that's your main problem. And you need to recognize that you are like. There's something fucking- Listen, dude, there's something fucking wrong with you. 
Um, I don't think you know what you're here, talking about. And you're there. Okay, give me. Oh, all right, I've got one more idea. I got one more idea. Um, okay, so here's your dead friend. Um, and if we just sort of, we sort of. Okay, so this is where they're going, and this is. Okay, give me just a sec. So this is like kind of the state that they're in. What are you doing? Um. Okay, so they're kind of like this right now. Uh, and this is like what you're doing to everybody in your life by like kind of not sort of recognizing. Um, this is that uh that uh, uh this is all this is all uh. So if you were to just you know this whole situation that you created with like your dead friend here, um if you were to stop doing this, I think you'd be able to uh. That you know, um, um, uh, so this you is you. Shut the fuck up. What, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shit. I'm, ah, oh, fuck. Oh. <sighs> I, I killed you once. Die again. Die again. Dear, dearly beloved. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here to in loving memory of a guy who was just like the best. A guy who was like the best guy who was like the best dude ever. Hold on. Um. Fuck. Hold on. Give me a sec. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. So, dearly beloved, we're oh. here. We're gathered here today to celebrate the beloved memory. Of everybody's favorite fucking guy, um, uh, Electron the Blue Mage. Uh, he, uh, he's dead now. He's, he's a fucking dead body now. And he was murdered in cold blood for no reason by someone who wasn't thinking things through. And now, uh, now he's a dead guy. Now he's a, hold on, check out my ability. Check, check out my fucking ability. Hold on. Um, there we go. Now I'm dead. I'm dead! Fuck you. And uh, with that, I'm happy to announce that that was the last ever funeral and that nobody is ever going to die ever again. I... This is stupid. I'm going insane. I'm already insane. No, this is... None of this is real. None of this is real. I need to just... The head? I don't... Look, fuck... It's not... Real. None of it... Shit. Whatever, it wasn't a good bow anyway. I'll replace it later. It doesn't fucking matter. God. Am I still wearing these? I'm supposed to leave them by the portal. I guess I could run over and go do that quick.
what happens if I get bad enough that I just don't come back? That I, that I just, that, that, that reality's just not. I don't know. And I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not like anyone talks to me much anyway. It's not like... <sighs> I don't know. None of it matters. Probably everyone else will get to be happy and that's something at least. I won't be dragging them down anymore. Mods, please kill. Get one later. I wonder if lightning strikes really could cure bone rot. Well, they fucking didn't. They fucking didn't. just hurt. It didn't help and it was stupid. I don't know what that means. That that doesn't seem right. Maybe none of this is real and I never actually came back. I've just been losing it in the darkness this whole time. These didn't hurt in the dream. They hurt sometimes. Sometimes it was nice when they hurt because it felt like I could still feel things. Yeah. 
Yeah. None of it was real. There's a pig. No, I know this pig. You're not supposed to be here. Saddle's worth keeping, I guess. So Kelsey left. I thought they did, but I wasn't sure. Shut up about the blue guy. Shut up. You're just voices in my head. Stop. None of you are real, and none of this is real, and none of that was real. So it doesn't fucking matter. anything to sell. I think I can sell pumpkins. That might be enough. Potatoes I have a lot of. I don't remember if any of the farmers buy potatoes. They might. Dry potatoes. I thought I had emeralds, but I guess I used them all. Or someone took them, which is fine. They're there to be used. Please let me through. Just, just once, please. Just walk away, just let me in.
maybe I can oof. Okay, the farmers are over there. Yes. Fourteen. I'm not sure that's enough to buy a bow. That one kind of lasted for a while. Don't. Please don't. Breaking too. That's not enough. I'm breaking one. It'll have to do. Excuse me, just sneaking. Sorry, I'm. This is fine. There's a stair missing there. So, hello? Coda? Moth? Hey. There you are. Hi. You look different. Not r different. How? Just the outfit? Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Cool. Yeah. There was a skeleton on your roof. Oh, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a light. There you go. Thanks. Yep. I thought it they wouldn't spawn up there because it's glass, but I guess it's not all glass. Mm -hmm. Things have a tendency to just show up. My house is well lit and there was a skeleton in it earlier. So, what's up? Nothing. You're real, right? I would hope so. Okay. Don't tell me you're starting to hallucinate like Cap. Starting? You say starting like you've been doing it for a while. Like, okay, yeah, sure, a lot of us have been seeing things, but... 
I mean, on the level Cap does. I don't know. Are you seeing things every day or just every now and then? I guess not every day. Okay. Not another one for... Not another person who needs... Well, there is no nice way to say the comment I'm going to make, so I'm just going to shut up. Okay. Besides in pain... <clears throat> besides in pain, how have you been? Okay, I guess. That's good. I... I wasn't expecting you to actually say something positive, not gonna lie. How have you been? I've been not anything really going on, so I've just been bouncing between my spawn and the nether. That's fair. I did some piglin trading. They're nice enough. Yeah, so long as you're wearing gold, they're harmless. Yeah. Good hagglers, too. I've gotten good chunk of stuff from them. You were gone for a while. Me? I heard you were gone for a while. Yeah. You're like how long ago did you hear that? I don't I don't know. I don't remember. Cuz I've been back since I don't know. I didn't really screw off anywhere, I just decided I needed a break so I was hanging out with Carnation. I've still been around. Who's Carnation? Uh, the spirit of, uh, nature, predominantly flowers. Mostly Carnations. F fair enough. All the spirits have simple names, which is good. I mean, you got Dew, who's water, you got Mushi, who's mushrooms, Pebble is pebbles, etc. Yeah. I think I met a couple of them. Uh, they're, they're good. I like them. I spend a lot of time with them. Do you need anything? Maybe. I don't know. Like, what would you need, theoretically? I... Do you know who took what was in the dispenser there? There was a dispenser there? Uh... I didn't even know that was there. So, probably not. 
If you find out. I can tell you. Why? Okay. What was in it? Something important. How important could it have really been if you were storing it in a dispenser? What? What? Hello? Okay. What just happened? Hang on. Too low. Still too low. Fucking. All right. No, oh, how am I going to get not in here? <laughs> if you're what? retrieving the arrows well yeah they're <laughs> kind of valuable <laughs> well, I guess they aren't really I keep killing skeletons there we go <laughs> still three short Oh well. Anyways, uh... Yeah, what was so important that could have been stored in a dispenser? Something that could only be stored in a dispenser. That's many things. TNT, arrows, armor... You can technically put anything in a dispenser. Why does it matter? So I know better what I'm looking for, I guess? It was a chest plate. What kind of chest plate? Chain mail. Anyways. Chain mail. Yeah. That made of iron. So what if it is? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck am I doing? 
What the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to get my friend back. And no one's fucking helping me. Pardon my skepticism. You always say no one's trying to do anything to help you. What is your fucking problem? My problem? What's yours? What do you mean, what's my problem? You're always going on and on and on and on about how nobody's doing anything to help you. My angel's looking for answers in that fucked up library. People have offered multiple ways to help. They ask what they can do, and you keep telling them nothing. People are trying. Thought you were afraid to go back into the dark anyways. That's what Angel Boy said. Just because I'm afraid doesn't mean it's wrong. People are trying to figure out how this timeshare thing works. Still, as far as I know, I don't know. I haven't really talked to August in a while. August won't help me either. And what did they do? <sighs> Nothing useful. Fucking tired, Coda. Yeah, I know. Every conversation we have always ends with I'm in pain or I'm tired. So what, should I force a smile so that you feel better? That's not at all what I'm, I'm saying. I'm doing great. I'm having a wonderful time. You done? No. Fuck you. For what? I don't Telling know. it as it is? Moth. I understand. People miss. I'm going to kill that fucking clown. What was I saying? Sorry that my pain is inconvenient to you. It's more along the lines of we understand you're in pain, but going on and on and on and making it the only thing you talk about is pushing people away. So should I be pretending that I'm fine? Should I be pretending that it doesn't hurt? I'm not saying that. Then what would make it better? You can stop worrying about something that doesn't matter. <sighs> Leave. I feel like I'm in a public place. We can go to my office and talk there. That's a private place. Fine. I'm not saying you need to pretend for the record. We understand. We're trying. We're trying to do everything we can to help at least ease the pain or find answers.
I'm sorry we can't have immediate solutions for you. I've been back for over a year. Anathema had it for months, I think, before I came back. Do you know how long it takes to find cures for many diseases? No, I don't. I don't either. That's what I had my sister for. I didn't know you had a sister. Yeah, I did. She was a medic. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just another... I want a bucket. Here's a bucket. I think bucket is a generous term. It's a bucket. Holds liquid. Does it? Um... Did I forget to install a pond on this thing? Oh, you can try to take a little bit of water from a polyan. Napoleon? Abaddon's piranha. Oh. Why is your chicken so small? Uh, Why did you that's, shrink? That's fine. I didn't. I didn't decide to I'm gonna get a crick in my neck from looking down at you. I feel like that's very sizes. Zeke is taller than you. You used to be about the same is. height. Shit. The angel. Oh, the one that was talking about August about morals? Yes. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Hang on. I got it. Put him back in. I've got the glass. I'll put him back in later. There's a latch on top. Oh, okay. There. Sorry. It's okay. Bucket work? No. Oh, I have another one. The ladder is right here. <laughs> it's uh, just a little oh. hard to see because it matches the block. I I don't think I can go up there. Oh, hang on, I got it. You're good now. Works. I have a bucket. I mean, it's a bucket, yeah. The other one didn't work. Oh, well. Can't all be winners. As much as I don't like the clown. She did prove that somebody's at least trying to help find workarounds. What are we working around? I just made a bucket. I don't want to talk to you. Can you get off of my property, please? I feel like if you're gonna say that murder's not illegal, then I can say trespassing's not illegal. The kingdom doesn't own this plot of land. I do. Fuck okay. off. I don't believe in your ability to tell me what to do. I'm cold. Goodbye. I don't like this. Anyways. Anyways. We're trying our best. And I'm sorry for barking at you like that. But you could at least acknowledge we're trying. Fine. We're trying. Zeke is presently at the library, looking through every single book he can to try and find something to do with this. If anyone can make sense of anything down there, it's probably the, mo the millions of years old Brainiac. Yeah. Abaddon's trying to 
make you laugh whenever he's around and you are, though he's generally pretty avoidant because he doesn't know how to handle you in a kind way, if that makes sense. Like, he's trying, but he's not exactly the most emotionally adept. He just makes sex jokes. He's trying to make it laugh, at least. Sure, they are cringeworthy, but that's just his sense of humor. Huh? I guess. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, clown? I'm not gonna learn it. Trespassing's illegal in my city. We can just go underground. That works. Oh, why are you sad? Take a hint, clown. It doesn't want to talk to you. I feel like that's irrelevant to the question that I asked. And I wasn't asking you. I frankly don't want to talk to you right, right now either. Well, I wasn't asking you the question, so I feel like, once again, you're, you're answering for someone. And that, that feels disrespectful. The somebody has already answered your question, and the somebody has already stated they don't want to talk to you, so kindly fuck off. No. You're not my dad. <sighs> it's just more blood I'm gonna have to clean up. It's fine. Hey, Citadel. Hello there. Hey, Citadel. The hunter is being very violent. The hunter is defending a friend from somebody who is clearly antagonizing it. How, would, how am I antagonizing it? I asked him, why are you sad? And it stated it doesn't want to talk to you. Not after I asked that question. I don't want to talk to you. But why? Well, I've never known the hunter to be violent without a cause. Uh, Soleil, would you care to, I, I don't know, come somewhere else with me or do something else? No. Not are really. You in, are you causing problems on purpose? No, I'm trying to cheer people up. That's literally my job. Ah. Uh, and I appreciate your efforts. Truly, I do. Are you but don't. It well, I literally compliment you. Me. At the I very least, be you real me away. I complimented you, saying that you are trying when you gave the, when you gave them the bucket. Are you trying to save face now that the knight's here? No. I'm stating the truth. I have stated something I actually said. You found a workaround. Congratulations, you tried. You want your arrows back? I'll take the arrows, but only if you agree to stay out of my office. Well, I'm not going to agree to that. No, oh, well then, here's one free of charge. Ouch. Anyways. Anyways. Is she intending to die in funny ways? Because that was kind of funny. No, I think she's just trying to piss us off. I've been clear with my intent. And it's clear we don't want to talk to you. I don't see how being a good Samaritan is trying to piss someone off. You're not taking the hint. You're not being subtle. I can spell it out to you in Cran if you want. I'd like to see that. Oh, sure. Hang on. Let me 
You got any spare signs up there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. There might be some down here. Oh, I found one. Okay, good. Let's see. Right there. Oh yeah, there are a few here. Spell it out to you in some facsimile of a crown, a crayon. Hang on. Hmm. It's going to look for a flower to dye it, but I think the only one. I'll here phrase are it a little okay. nicely. There, I've spelt it out to you in crayon. Not blue. Mm hmm. Now read what it says. Well, you've written soleil, and then on a new line, kindly, the capital K, go away. On a new line, we, with a capital W, don't want. And then on a new line, to talk to you. So, what does that mean? It means I have the same level of respect for your boundaries that I did when I walked into your office. Christ alive. You suppose there's any way that I could lend you a hand with her or if, anything else? If Soleil pops back up again, just shoo her off. You don't have to be as direct as I'm being. You can do it in any way you can. You can be direct if you want. I'd rather not resort to murder immediately. I assumed Goody Two Shoes wouldn't either, but... Should we switch to another VC? I think so. Okay. Thank you for trying to deal with her. It's what I do. I help people in need. I can't give solutions all the time, but I can at least give ways to cope with it. Yeah. I appreciate it. We're trying. We really are. And I'm glad that you're going to at least start acknowledging that we're trying. But I don't think bringing direct harm to yourself is going to bring him back. I mean, it, literally it will, but... Then what are you talking about? I don't know. I just... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find an amicable means to an end. Where did you go? I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. I'm just, you know, trying to solve it a little more peaceably so nobody has to be hurt. I know. I mean, you're a good person. I try to be. But you said it yourself, there's no such thing as a good person. I did? Yeah, that was ways back. I don't remember saying that. It was a while ago, I want to say. It was like after we had already met a few times. Are you sure it wasn't anathema? It might have been anathema. I don't remember. There's a lot going on upstairs. 
Yeah. But in any case, it's the. I try to be. I try to do good for people because somebody will always misconstrue misconstrue intentions, which is why there's technically no such thing as a good person. What could be deemed a good thing, like me keeping Soleil away from you by stabbing her repeatedly, is perceived as good by you. But to her, it's just me bringing harm, and to everyone else, it's causing more blood. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's always in some sort of a gray scale. Nothing's black and white. Except, you know, literally. I just want anathema. I'm sure there's a lot of people who do. You do. I'm sure Princey does. I'm pretty sure August does too. But there's also a lot of people who want you. So if there was some way we could get both. I don't think they want me either. You said it yourself. It's not fun to be around me. I push people away. Yeah, but it's a learning experience. You can learn from it, and you already have, in a sense. Sure, all it took was me literally yelling at you, but you got it. You figured it out. We're trying, and you appreciate it, I'm sure. I wish people would stop telling me what to feel. I don't think that's our intention. I know it's not mine. You're allowed to feel whatever you want to feel. You are an individual. And everybody's feelings are unique. people experience things differently and if people are trying to tell you how you should feel then that's a little fucked up of them I think there's a difference between people telling you how you should feel and trying to explain their view on things feel whatever I want to feel as long as I don't express the negative bits where other people can see. Well, okay. You don't always have to hide the negativity because sometimes venting is a positive thing. But making it the only thing you talk about is the problem. And every conversation we've had prior to now has ended in that. I say that I'm tired and I leave it's a valid feeling I I'm trying to figure out how to explain this like you're allowed to say you're tired and you're allowed to leave you're not obligated to stay in any situation if you want me to shut up just say so and I'll leave it's along the lines of talking about other things trying to find those little things that bring the slightest semblance of a positive emotion is just as important to talk about as the negative ones you don't want to hear about it all right just 
trying to help. Yeah, everybody's just trying to help. Is there anything I can do that's reasonable to help? You could get me a new curse of binding piece of armor. Moth. I am not going to do that. Because that's going to bring harm to you. Am I not already being harmed? You're not being harmed by me. At least not intentionally. Inaction is also a kind of action. I'm asking you what I can do that is reasonable. And I'm sorry, but getting you a curse of binding iron form chest plate is not helping anyone harmlessly. I can get you a leather one. I can get you a gold one. I don't want a leather or a gold one. You want something that's going to hurt you. Is that illegal? It's not illegal, but it's unreasonable. Thank you, Void. Is there anything I can do that won't hurt you? Probably fucking not. What? D did I say something wrong that brought this about? Because I thought things were genuinely better just a bit No, ago. I was lying. I lied to make you feel better. And it worked. And I hate you. That was unreasonable. I'll say they're trying to help. Citadel's the only one who's helped. The rest of them are just saying whatever they think will make them look better. Feel better. Whatever. Oh, we don't want you to hurt yourself. I want to stop hurting.
We don't want you to hurt yourself. We don't want you to stop hurting. We just want you to shut up and take it. just don't want you to hurt yourself was what they said the first time too. You're right. More important to people to keep their own hands clean than to end my suffering. Why won't she shut up? This should bypass them. This should take me around to where they can't or won't know to cut me off. No one knows this highway like I do. Freedom. What do you mean almost no one? I haven't seen Amber since I started working on it again, so I don't think that they really know what I've added. Nathama knows the highway just as well. I guess. It's not like he has a choice. It's a sylph's house, isn't it? I wonder how he's doing now that he's back. I guess the... whatever it was got taken down. The flowers are still leading the way back. And I wonder how Hunger's doing. I liked Hunger. He was tired too. And I hope he's getting some rest. And I hope Sylph is acclimating.
But there's some up here too. There's just a lot happening here. Hold on. Make Anathema happy. What's a goat and a polar bear with horns? I think they're pretty different. I, th I think they're they're pretty different animals. watching you're at least as much of a hypocrite as I am I would have said goodbye if I'd known in advance and I'd gotten a choice I would have said goodbye to you Wouldn't even do that much for me. How dare you ask me to assuage your guilt? How dare you tell me to stay so that I don't hurt you? Did you believe it when you said it? Did you still believe it when you left me? I wish I had TNT. Everyone who said that they just wanted to keep me from hurting myself. They didn't know what they were talking about. They still don't know what they're talking about. We care so much about you, but they just... They don't. They don't care.
they say they do, but they don't act like it. They say, this is what will help me. And they say we don't care. No one's cared this whole time. This whole time it's just been ways to control me. Why should I listen to any of you? Have you ever listened to me? I don't want you to hurt yourself, they say, and ask you to wear false smiles that cut. Yeah. Leave me alone. Why are you following me? Because uh, I'm trying to figure out when you'll be interested in talking to me. I don't want to talk to you. Why? Because I don't like you. Why? Do I need a reason? I don't suppose you do, but... And that doesn't really give me a reason to stop trying. Stop trying. So I assume you don't want anyone to try to help you with anything ever? I don't want you to talk to me. Leave me alone. Turn around and leave. You don't want any help with anything? I could, like, have someone else help. And I could be the one that's not doing it, maybe? I don't have a change of clothes, or I'd wear that. You can help me by leaving. That's not very constructive. If you hear me on the roof, yeah, that's me on the roof. I think I have things to say that you would be interested in hearing. What could you possibly have to say that I'd be interested in hearing? I don't know, maybe I could be someone who doesn't have, like, a weird hang-up about anathema and wants to help you, like, get them back in play. Are you? You don't. You wouldn't know that because you keep telling me that you don't want to talk to me, and then uh, I presume there was some sort of bad end to the conversation with Dakota. He seems in a grumpy. Then get me iron armor with curse of binding. Um, I have iron horse armor. That's not going to be good enough. Yeah, you don't seem shaped like a horse. Why do you want the Curse of Binding? I mean, if he's not interested in sharing, he just doesn't have to take it off. Easy peasy. The Curse of Binding feels like you're taking choice away from him. He can break it if he wants to. Isn't that more painful than it's worth? Iron Armor doesn't have a ton of durability. Yeah, but I mean, like, the, the Curse of Binding part feels like you're making a lot more work for him than you need to. And also, curses are hard to get. I mean, 
I, if you're looking for curses, I'll try to find curses, but I don't have them on hand, so I was seeing if I can make some curses for myself. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Probably shouldn't have done that. It hurts when you do that, yeah. Hard to get back up here. Is it safer for me to talk through the roof, or...? Uh, hello, Moth. Hi. Hi. Um. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I wasn't here to receive you. That's all right. I uh. I brought some uh some apples from the Nether for you. There, uh, so far, everyone who's had them has enjoyed them, and they don't seem to be poisonous. Quite the opposite, so, um... I hope you can enjoy those. Thank you. Um, did you notice? Did something happen? I, I did. I, I saw this, uh, there's a wandering trader that's invisible somewhere within, like, ten feet of us that's making noises that had walked across a few times and saw the dispenser was empty. Of course there's a wandering trader. Right here, I think? Yes, right here next to the horse. Yeah. I can see the particles. Whatever. I'm not sure what else I can do for you. I, I suppose if you're still seeking that, I can tell you if I find any more curse books while I'm fishing. I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I will let you know if that yields anything. And feel free to stop by if you would ever like to. Conversation or food or what have you. How have you been doing? Oh, uh... I have been... Alright, I suppose. I have been, uh, I haven't been around Elysium very much. The captain keeps shooting me off from trying to aid in the rebuilding, and I, I don't know, something just feels off, so I've been spending a lot more time at my house. Oh, there's the bugger. Yeah. Just like that. And I realized that it was not wearing the uh, the chest plate, so... Having it exposed like this was probably stupid. Uh, I suppose if it helps, then if you tell me a different place to put things, or you'd like me to uh, make something a little bit more purpose-built, I certainly did not know what it was intended for, initially. I took advantage of your ignorance. I... Imagine that you've, uh, you've been put into that situation by your own experience. I don't hold it against you. 
Everyone acts like they know what's best for me, and they won't listen to me when I tell them they're wrong. There are certainly times when others may have a good idea, but I can't imagine that anybody actually does know you well enough to have a better idea. I just hope that you continue to try and do what is best for you and, you know, continue to examine it, not just take what seemed like it would be best for you and to continue rolling with it. Things can change and I don't know. You know yourself better than I do. Thank you for saying so. I don't know if it would help with pain, but the uh, black apples do have a little bit of a regenerative property. It might. I'll try then. Uh, Dakota came by and left something for you there. I, uh, I suppose for now, unless there's something I can help you with, I will take my leave. Do you have to go? No. No, I, I don't. Oh. And I'll set out a piece of pie. Why won't she leave me alone? I, I don't know. I still have no real idea what her deal is. All I know is it feels like it's just... I don't know. I don't know what her rhythm is. How dare she say that? I want to take the choice away from him. I... What is she doing to give him a choice? What? It's it just... There's just always... It was just always... I don't... I don't know why, but I expect that she's trying to aggravate you. The dispenser... It's not attached to anything. This one, no, just the, uh, the pressure plate atop it. Why won't it stop making noise? I don't hear it making noise. There's something else, but it sounds distant. Not this way. I'm struggling to place it. It does sound like there's something ticking, though. It always sounds like it's right behind me. Oh. Oh, goodness. For now, since this is, uh, out of commission. Does that help? No. It's fine. It'll go away eventually. Say it's always behind you. I'll admit, I uh, I lied for a brief moment there. I I don't hear it, but I thought that if I wandered around, I might hear what you were talking about. Assumed that your senses might be sharper than mine. Uh, no, I'm just losing it.
Is it, and this might sound foolish, is it a certain dispenser? Does it sound like one you've heard before? Yeah. Well, it doesn't go well, but that would do it. I know of people who hear things like well, battles again. And, uh, it sounds similar. I'm sorry. It's fun. It happens sometimes. It doesn't have to be fine. I'm sorry that it's... I'm sorry that you're facing that. There's, um... I wish people would stop treating me like I'm more important than anathema. They talk such a big game about it, but they they don't want me either because I'm a downer and inconvenient and not what they were hoping for. I mean, I think that you've nailed it there. Not what they were hoping for. I wouldn't know where to start trying to help you with pain or memories or uh, anything. I've, I suppose I only know the surface of what you've shared, and you've been reluctant at that, so I'm not going to assume I know the half of it. But it sounds like that's not what they were hoping for, and I'm sorry that they expected something like that of you. I was gone for a long time. I don't know why they would expect me to be the same. I don't know. But it's all, God, you're depressing, and stop talking so much about your own pain. And I, do I talk that much about how I'm in pain? I feel like I don't every every second I'm in pain and I don't say anything I don't talk about it that much do I no, I would rather say that you it seems like you uh, keep your jaw rather clenched on the matter if anything when occasionally you mention it it feels more like a dam being breached than anything. Seems like you're carrying that with you and you've been rather quiet about it. I don't want to bother people. Your existence shouldn't count as a bother. My existence is kind of already an atrocity. I don't know why I bother. Is that something you tell yourself or something that somebody else told you? Does it matter? Hmm. I don't know, does it? You know better than I do, for yourself. I like existing. I like being able to think and feel things. But I don't like it so much that I think I deserve it more than someone else does. I 
That sounds less like your circumstance is... What's the word? It sounds less like an abomination and more like a tragedy. It doesn't sound like it's particularly good for anybody right now. I mean, not that your existence isn't good. I mean, the, the arrangement, the body, and... The darkness and all of that. I'm sorry. I won't lie and say that I'm certain there could be a better way. But I, think I there can has be to truthful be. and say that you're not alone. I think we were friends once. I remember being friends. Or having been friends. Or I think it was real. This is a bit of unprompted advice for myself, but my memory has been shot since I woke up here, and my feelings have been one of the few things that I've trusted fully. If you feel that you knew something better, you had something better, then I would believe in that feeling. I believe that you did, and that it's possible, and likely possible to do again, if not in the same way, to build a new one. I think if I went back, then maybe there are some more memories buried, and maybe I'd be able to figure out how we did it. But I don't know if... I don't know if something that could be called me would be what came back. I don't think I can go that deep again. No matter how dramatic a change, it's hard to say that a person ever becomes a different person. You can change who you are step by step, and certainly you could change in your absence from others, but it would still be you, even if it were a different you. I don't want to be something that broken. I don't want to be something this broken. I don't, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to unbreak a person. For that matter, I don't think that anybody could know how to unbreak another person, not unless their situations were similar, and even then it's doubtful. If you're broken, your options are to lay broken or to try and see yourself reforged. I don't think there are enough pieces without anathema. Maybe. It's hard to imagine any person not having pieces of others in them. I certainly do. But in this instance, it's a bit more literal. If I asked you to lay a trap for me, would you do it? No, but if you asked me to make a bed for you, if you asked me to allow you to make the decision, I would. I'm too scared. If there's a choice to back out, I keep backing out. I don't want to. And if we can find more armor for you, that is the last obstacle. And there is iron in this world, there is armor in this world, there are means for everything. 
Yes. But you are the one who will have to figure out how to take the step yourself. Even if it's just one step, I will help you, but I need to see you take it yourself. It's not fair to anathema to have to wait until I'm... It's not fair. Moth, as you said, if you cannot be reforged, if you cannot become a different version of yourself without anathema, then I would say the same must be true. And that's why I don't want to trap you. Anathema will be stuck one way or the other unless you figure out how to make that choice for the both of you. He won't he won't be stuck. He can break the armor. He can have It's not choice. about breaking the armor. It's about it's about changing. Moth, I think that asking somebody to lay a trap for you is certainly a step in you know, a direction of growth, but for both of your sake, why what is still preventing you from stepping forward yourself? I'm scared. I don't want to go back into the darkness. You don't have to do it alone, but you do have to do it scared. I do have to do it alone. Because I'm going to be alone. He's Only watching now. There. He knows how much of a coward I am. I've been hesitating at the edge of the precipice for over a year now. And you have nothing else to prove by asking for a trap. You have nothing that you can hide from him. It's not about principles. He's a real person and he's trapped. So are you. I guess. I will say that I know, and I'm not disbelieving that anathema is real, but you are a real person. You are here in front of me. We can talk, we can converse. I don't know what manner of being you are, perhaps, but you are real, and so are your feelings and needs, and so is the need for you to take that step if you want to make something new out of yourself and anathema. Can you hold your hand to a burning stove? I guess maybe you can, you're stone. I wouldn't do it for fun, but... If there was something that I needed to fight for, if there was a... If there was a burning building, and a red-hot iron handle was the only way to get in to get somebody else out... I would. I dare say, and this is probably a flaw rather than a strength of mine, I would do it without thinking. Maybe I need to stop thinking. Maybe. Sometimes action does a lot more. I wonder if the captain would get me drunk. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think it's a good thing that I would need to be drunk off of panic or heroics to do it. 
I don't think that it's a good thing that you would need to be drunk on Captain's Moonshine to do it. Moth, what would you hold your hand to a stove for? Because either something is worth it to you or it isn't. And I know it's hard, whether it's worth it or not, but... Is there something missing still? There must be, or I would be doing it already. I don't know. I can only bid that you... I can only bid that you trust your feelings and... I... I hope that you figure it out. And I will help how I can, but... That's not true. I won't help however I can, or else I'd be slinking off to build a death trap for you right now. I can help you in some ways. But you, oh. I don't know. You need to figure out what's missing. I can help you take a step, but I can't shove you out the door. I know. I could, but I won't. I don't know if anybody else would. I don't know if anybody else could, but I I could and won't, and I won't until you can, Moth. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not poor. Exciting. You don't need to be sorry. You don't need to apologize for existing. Get past the moon. I suppose. Anything that you've been up to recently, day by day, besides, uh... Just working on the highway. I, I appreciate that. It is a wonderful thing to have. I'm glad someone's getting use out of it. Mostly I think people get lost on it. I think I would have gotten lost more times without it than, uh, than I have with it. That's true. Your, uh, your work is good. I'm doing my best. I didn't do the... the torch directions or the medians. That wasn't... that was, uh, that was Amber. But I've been <laughs> keeping up with it since I got back. Collaboration is even better. Yeah, I'm glad.
that someone was working on it while I was gone. It was good to come back to. Oh, I... I have full faith that whenever you take another journey away, that when you come back, there will be there will be things to make you glad like that again. I hope so. There will be, if you can let yourself find them. I'm glad that you let yourself find joy in this. Thanks. Sorry, I, I don't mean to keep you. You can... Oh. No. This is nice. I'm, I'm not here out of a sense of noble suffering right now. Right. Right, sorry. It is quite all right. I don't think you need to be sorry, but all the same, if you need to hear it, you're forgiven. I'm glad you're here. Maybe it's just because I've been so far away from the city, but I have missed having the chance to, uh, to exist around people. You're always welcome here. Thank you. I am glad that I know you, Moth. I'm glad I know you. Thank you. Is there? Certainly. Is there anywhere that you would, uh, I don't know, like to exist together, like to hang out? Here is just as fine as anywhere, but if there was somewhere else you would rather walk to, I would be glad to uh to ride out and accompany you i think now i'm just tired you want to be alone for a time yeah i'll All see right. i'll see you around I'll see you around. I'll, uh, I'll try to come by again sooner. Thank you. I'll look forward Welcome. to it. And if Soleil hassles you again, I can uh, try to take her off of your hands. Thank you. be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, that's what I have in me for today. anyone else is live let me see if anyone else is live hi sorry this was a lot i hope you guys enjoyed it i need to fall over oh becca's live i could i could read becca i 
I can type. <laughs> um, for posterity, I'm laughing at when saying that she saw Sikari talking about how Citadel and Seamoth should hug the entire time. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to do the raid. Yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh uh Sleep and Coda and Dove and Wen. And I think that was everyone. I'm kind of fried right now. Uh so I'm going to do the raid and I'm going to go leave. Bye. Or I guess bye in like 10 seconds. Yeah, everyone was fantastic today. All right, goodbye. Have fun. <laughs>